The Lauder name is believed to have Norman roots, with the family settling in the Berwickshire area of Scotland during the medieval period. Robert de Lavadre, who obtained lands from Malcolm Canmore, is often considered the progenitor of the Lauder clan. Over time, the family became influential landowners, holding estates in various parts of Berwickshire. Throughout its history, Clan Lauder has produced individuals who played significant roles in Scottish society. Sir Robert de Ludra, a prominent figure, witnessed a charter to the Abbey of Dryborough. William de Lord served as the Sheriff of Pensa during the reign of Alexander III, demonstrating the family's involvement in governance. The Lauder's possession of the base rock in the Firth of Forth, since 1297 showcases their connection to strategic locations in Scotland. This rocky island served as a fortress and prison, underlining the clan's importance in defence and governance during medieval times. The Lauder's involvement in trade is also notable. Robert de Lauder and Thomas of Loire were recognised as merchants and burgesses of Edinburgh, in the early 15th century, emphasising the family's economic influence and participation in the urban life of Scotland. Clan Lauder was not isolated within its own borders, its members interacted with other clans and played crucial roles in diplomatic affairs. William Lord's appointment as a conservator of truce between Scotland and England in 1451 exemplifies the Lauder's involvement in maintaining peace and stability across borders. The Lauder's involvement in escorting envoys and conducting diplomatic missions, such as accompanying the envoys with Princess Cecilia's dower to Edinburgh in 1477, demonstrates their trusted position within Scottish society. Like many ancient Scottish clans, the Lauder name has evolved over time, resulting in numerous spelling variations, such as Lauder, Lauter, Leather, and more. These variations arose due to different interpretations and the evolution of language throughout the centuries. The Lauder name continued to flourish and found its way beyond Scotland's borders. In Ulster, Ireland, the name transformed into Lauter and Leather, carried by descendants who emigrated from Scotland.